Hey boys and girls, yesterday we talked about AU and AW words, which are two more diphthongs. So today we're gonna do a little bit of syllable practice. So make sure you have out your grammar booklet or a blank notebook sheet of paper and a pencil. Remember, syllable practice is important because it helps us to learn how to chunk our words or split them up into smaller syllables. So if we know how to chunk our words or make them smaller, that helps us to sound out words and have a strategy when we come to unknown words while we're reading a passage or while we're reading a book. So for number one, go ahead and write overhaul. Overhaul. Overhaul is actually three syllables. So at the top, I'm gonna write three syllables. Overhaul. Now we're gonna sing our song and see what the syllables are. Remember, we start off with the first two vowels, and then when we have a diphthong, you underline the vowels together. So this aw, that is a diphthong. So when we come to that, we're gonna underline that together like it's one sound. Underline the vowels, underline the vowels, mark them with the V, mark them with the V. Draw your bridge, draw your bridge. Underline the consonant, underline the consonant, mark them with a C, mark them with a C. Split your syllable, split your syllable. Okay, so here we have a vowel consonant vowel pattern. Sometimes we split after this first vowel and sometimes we split after this consonant. So the reason why I split after the first vowel was because O, overhaul, that says its name. So it has to be open, an open syllable. And if I split it right there, then that means it's open because it does not have a consonant to close it out. Oh, remember we said that we have three syllables, so we need to keep going. Underline the vowels, underline the vowels. Mark them with the V, mark them with the V. Draw your bridge, draw your bridge. Underline the consonants, underline the consonants. Mark them with the C, mark them with the C. Split your syllables, split your syllables. So here, if we just look at this pattern right here, we have the most common pattern, vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel and we're gonna split between the consonants. So our three syllables are O, VER, ER, are controlled, HAL, ALL, which is a diphthong. O, VER, HAL. Great job. Now we are going to write autograph. That is number two. Go ahead and write autograph for number two. How many syllables is autograph? Autograph is three syllables. Autograph, three syllables. Remember again, the diphthong is right here, so we're gonna underline those vowels together. Underline the vowels, underline the vowels, mark them with the V, mark them with the V. Draw your bridge, draw your bridge. Underline the consonants, underline the consonants, mark them with the C, mark them with the C. Split your syllables, split your syllables. Again, I'm gonna split right here after the first vowel. So I can have autograph. So that would be a diphthong. But remember we have three syllables. Right now it's only split, split into two. So we need to keep going. Underline the vowels, Underline the vowels, mark them with the V, mark them with the V. Draw your bridge, draw your bridge. Underline the consonants, underline the consonants, mark them with the C, mark them with the C. Split your syllables, split your syllables. So, why did I underline this G and this R together? Because it's an R blend. Grr. It doesn't say g, -r -r. it says grr. So that's underlined together. And then I split after the first vowel again.
because um, ah, toe, o, oh, that has to be open. So we cannot have a consonant to close it out. Ah, toe, graph. That's a closed syllable. Ah, the A makes a short vowel sound. Autograph. All right, our next one is crawfish. I know some of y'all might enjoy eating crawfish. Fun fact, I've actually never eaten it, but I want to, especially now that I moved down to Arkansas. Crawfish is two syllables. We have the A-W diphthong, so remember that's going to be underlined together. Underline the vowels, underline the vowels, mark them with the V, mark them with the V. Draw your bridge, draw your bridge. Underline the consonants, underline the consonants, mark them with the C, mark them with the C. Split your syllables, split your syllables. So again here we have the vowel consonant vowel pattern and you're gonna see more often than not where you split after the first vowel. So here again, we're gonna split after the first vowel because craw, fish, we know there's two syllables. We know craw, ah, that's a diphthong. And fish, i, that's closed because it's closed out by a consonant or consonants. All right, great job. Our last word is withdraw withdraw. So go ahead and write that for number four. So again here we have our diphthong aw so that's going to be underlined together. Underline the vowels, underline the vowels, mark them with the v, mark them with the v. Draw your bridge, draw your bridge. Underline the consonants, underline the consonants, mark them with the C, mark them with the C. Split your syllables, split your syllables. So here, remember our R blends, that's underlined together, drrr, and with, it doesn't say t, huh, it says th, it makes one sound, so that is underlined together as well. So I have a vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel pattern. I split between the consonants and with I, I, and we have consonants to close it out. That's closed and short vowel sound. And draw, ah, that is a diphthong. So we have two syllables and if we wanted to pound out those syllables, we could easily do that. We could say with, wu, i, th, with, Draw, draw, ah, draw, withdraw. All right, great job, guys. I will talk to you all tomorrow. Hope you have a, re a wonderful rest of your day.